Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Tacos and Workouts. Before we get started with this episode, do us a huge favor and subscribe to our channel. What it is, what it is, it's what Tacos and Workouts. And today we're going to the Guam's Mart. That's right. I had an idea for a video and uh, it's about the food that we eat. And I think you'll be surprised by some of the things we find. Let's go check it out. All right, so we're in the, the produce section, right? And uh, I think um, vegetables, it's pretty much you could eat as much vegetables as you want and I don't think they don't affect you in a negative way. Fruits is another thing. Fruits are high in sugar. The more sugar you consume, uh, turns into fat. Um, you know, because uh, the body can't break it down. So uh, you can't have too many um, fruits. But um, you know what? Check with your doctor, you know, because uh, he knows what's going on. So uh, I don't know, let's, let's get a salad. I mean, uh, let's get some make a salad today um, so this one right here we're not actually gonna look at the anything um, like the, the sodium or the calories or any of that because it's it, it's, it's a salad like, come on man uh, we're gonna get just a uh, this one looks about right look this one right here so we're gonna try this out nor, nor does it have any any sodium or any information so you know what uh, this is a good buy uh, it's like that's what we're gonna do we're gonna try that out. And let me see, what else? What else? Kinda want some carrots, right? Some carrots. Let's get some carrots. Um, chili get like the dollar bag of carrots. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna get the dollar bag of carrots. Right? Um, I think I have onion at home. And I think I might have tomato at home as well. So that'll be it. And then we might get a, a, a piece of chicken and do that. Um, Oranges, uh, we need oranges for vitamin C. So let's get some, let's get some oranges. All right, so we're gonna get these, um, this found five pound bag of oranges. Um, you know, because uh, it's got the, the vitamins on it, right? And vitamins are good for you. You know what I mean, I mean vitamins, come on then. All right, so we decided to make our own salads, right? But if you wanna be lazy and you want like store-bought, that's also an option. So uh, let's check out what it has. Okay, so let's look at it right here. It has 330 calories, which is not bad, right? Total consumption recommended is 2,000 calories. Um, it's got total fat 33%. I don't know where that comes from. Cholesterol is 17%. Where does that number come from? I don't know. But let's look at the sodium content. It's 35% sodium. Where does that come from? I have no idea. Let's look at the salad, actual salad. It must be da, 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 the dressing. It must be the dressing. That's that's probably what has all the the negative stuff on it. All right. And if you're like me and you kind of want like a quick like like um, potato salad or something, and you say you know what? Because I don't want to make it at home, so you could just buy buy it store bought, right? And uh, just check it out. All right. So this is a potato salad right here, right? You're gonna look at the back. And look at the sodium content. It's the sodium content is 22%, so it's actually not bad. And we're gonna look at the calories, it's 200 calories. It serves about three people, so uh, you should not consume all this at one time. So you should kind of plan it out that you're gonna eat this up to three servings. So that's the plan. Eat this for up to three servings. All right, so now let's say you say, you know what, I got my potato salad, I'm gonna do good but I want some pasta, right? And I don't want to cook my pasta. You know what? They have that option for you too. Now, this might change a little bit. It's gonna be surprising, let's check it out. So you have your pasta salad here, right? Let's look at the back. Okay, so right here it says, is 340 calories per serving, which is not bad if you get like a small portion. Uh, and per container is 960, so that's almost half of the daily recommended calories that you have, right? So let's say if you were to end up consuming this whole thing, it would be 88% sodium by 220 milligrams. So you really would have to pay attention to the consumption of the sodium level. Um, you know, 88%, that's very high. If you have high blood pressure, I would not recommend this item. So we're just actually gonna put it right back. That's a no-go for us. You know, I think I'm gonna go with some bananas. 
Um, yeah, let's go with some bananas. Maybe we can make a milkshake or something. I've actually never, ever in my life had a Link machine. Never. Um, but let's check it out. Uh, there's a chicken fettuccine, right? Let's check that one out. That one seems kind of, it's a pasta. Let's see, let's, let's see what that one's all about. Okay, so here's the Lean Cuisine. Um, it looks okay, it's a pasta, right? And uh, as, as far as I know, this is just for one person. So let's look it out. It has 310 calories, so that's good. It's not high in, in calorie content, right? It's got nine grams of fat, which is fine, um, you know, for me. And the cholesterol is not high, so it's not gonna mess with your heart. And it has 29% sodium, right? So 29%, I, I never try to go with anything that's above 30% sodium content. Um, you know, for people that have high blood pressure, I, I, for me, I'm not a doctor, but for me, I don't try to go over anything that has over uh, 30%. So this one right here, I think we're gonna take it. That's, this is gonna be a buy for us. We're gonna try it out. Check it out, guys. I, I found a Supreme Pizza. We're gonna try this one out too because I turned the back and it, also, it has 26% sodium. Uh, so actually, and it's 350 um, calories. So this is within range. It's not gonna damage us that much over the high um, calorie intake. So if you want a, a pizza, I mean, we're gonna try this out. Lean Cuisine, um, you know what? I never tried you before, but we're gonna rock it this time. All right, so I'm kind of getting excited over this Lean Cuisine. And I was like, you know what? Let me try some of this, this Lean Cuisine. Uh, uh, Chinese food, right? It's Lean Cuisine sesame chicken. Ba, 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 ba. Bad news. It has it has 36 percent sodium content. So the, the sodium is a little bit high, uh, but not too bad. Um, I really want to try it. The calorie is 340, so it's not going to ruin our day. It's one serving per person. So if, if if you ever get anything that has high sodium content, the best way for you to do is it. And if you feel that you want to eat it, and you, you want to try it, go ahead and try it and then just drink a lot of water afterwards to dilute the sodium content. So, um, you know, that, that's what I recommend. Go ahead, if you wanna try it, know that it's a little high, right? Remember I said, nothing over 40%. Um, but in this, in this particular case, I'm gonna try it out, but we're gonna kinda dilute it with, uh, with water afterwards. We're gonna have a two to three cups of water and that hopefully will dilute the, the high content of sodium. You know what, just for fun, why don't we check out the Marie Callender's meals. Uh, there's one that I got the other day, and uh, it was okay. But I'm curious to see what was the, the sodium content, because I didn't check it. So, so let's check it out. All right, the meatloaf. Who doesn't love meatloaf, right? Let's check it out. So it's 370 calories, which is not bad. Oh no, this is the sodium content. You see it's 55% sodium? That's a big no-no. That's no, we can't do that. Uh-uh. Saturated fat is 30%. Cholesterol is 20%. Yeah. That's gonna be a no-go. And I actually purchased this item last week. And uh, we're gonna have to put it back because uh, 55%, that's a lot of salt. And uh, yeah, we can't, we can't be rocking that. So, um, you know what, let's do one more. Let's do one more, why not? Um, let's go with the sesame chicken, the same thing as the other one. And this one I've actually also had in the past and it's, it's been very good, it was very good to me. Uh, let's check it out. There it is. Check it out. Okay. So this one here is 30% which is on sodium which is good, it's 530 calories which is not bad, it's a uh, one meal. So you should, you should um, if you wanna go ahead and take this one, I would take it. Um, to me, this one's not that bad. So actually, I am gonna take that one. Um, because um, it's got the, the, the sodium kinda like sold me on that one. So I'm gonna try that one. So that's it for the frozen foods. Some DiGiorno pizza. Let's get to it. It's got 770 calories that's that's a lot of calories right there that's 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 um almost half the, uh almost half the, the daily recommended rate and it's got 59 percent sodium 59 percent so at 59 percent sodium 
um, we can't rock that. That's a lot of salt. And um, we're gonna have to put that back. And it sucks because I really wanted that one. So Link Cuisine wins on this one. It's okay. Too bad. We'll just replace it with something else. With some fruits and vegetables. You know what I'm saying, vegetables. All right, so we decided to uh, try these, these chicken patties, right? Uh, as a replacement for the burgers. And they look, they look okay to me. I kind of like these. Um, you know, the packaging looks good. Chicken patties, chicken's good for you, right? Let's check out what's on the back. So it's 200 calories, right? One patty is 200 calories. And it's 400 milligrams, 17% sodium. So, um, yeah, that's gonna be a yes. We're gonna take that. Um, you know what, the calorie count was, was, was low. Um, you know what? And you could either put that on a salad or a burger, chicken burger, and you should be fine. Um, so we're gonna start paying attention to the the calorie count, the sugar, and the sodium. That's kind of what we're concentrating on. And uh, we're at the on the on the vegetable section, so we're gonna get ourselves some broccoli. So if you're thinking, there it is, the broccoli, right? Well, let's check what it's got in the back. It's 25 calories, okay. It's got sodium 1%, right? And look, total fat 0000. zero, zero, zero. So broccoli hits a home run. Broccoli is really good for you. Um, so we went ahead and grabbed two bags of broccoli. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and get some uh, um, frozen vegetables. I recommend fresh is always better, but um, sometimes, you know, um, frozen vegetables will have to do. This is for all the single guys and ladies who don't want to cook or have difficulty cooking. This is a different way of, of you getting your, your nutrients in a better way. Um, guys, this is kind of like what I do. Um, and we're going to try to stay on top of it. So here they are, right? This, this is the brand I get. Okay, fat is zero. Saturated fat is zero. Cholesterol is zero. What did I tell you? Vegetables are a home run. So if you want to lose the weight, vegetables is the way to go. A whole bunch of vegetables, get creative with it. And uh, you know, there has to be a balance. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> you know what? We're gonna get some olives. Um, because we like some. <laughs> uh, but let's, let's, let's look back. Uh, serving two olives. Two olives is a serving. Can you believe that, guys? It's 11%. Sodium, cholesterol zero. Um, total fat is 3%. 3%. So uh, we're going to rock it with, with uh, 11%. But keep in mind, uh, two olives is one serving. Right? That's crazy. And for all of you who do not know who my grandma is, she's right here, look. Oh, for real, this is, this is my grandma. I mean, my grandma looks exactly like her. You know, and they have the same last name. They were probably related at some point. You know, so every time I go to the grocery store and I see Chocolate Abuelita, it reminds me of my abuelita. I love you, grandma. Okay, so we're gonna skip over the pastas. We're, we're not gonna do pasta this week. I, I recently started cooking my own pasta. I love pasta. Um, you know, and, and uh, but we're, we're gonna lay off the pasta for a while. Um, but we made it to the Chamber of Secrets, that's right. What's the Chamber of Secrets? And what's the big secret? Um, let's find out. So, so this is one cup, right? 240 milligrams. It's supposed to, it's 130 calories per serving, which isn't bad. 280 per container, right? Um, and it's made for two people. So one can of this is made for two people. Uh, this one right here is actually a healthy request, New England clam chowder. Um, but what's the secret? What's the secret? Here it is, the sodium. It's 18% at, at uh, 410 milligrams and 890 milligrams is 40%. So what did I say about the 40% rule, right? Anything that has over 40%, we're not gonna rock it. So uh, this has, um, if you eat the whole thing, you're eating 
uh, close to let me see 400 uh, the, the 500 and I'm totally bad at math now uh, you're, you're eating 560 calories uh, um, um, and and if you eat the whole thing it's 40% sodium so you're eating uh, two servings of this and 40% sodium so just kind of know what, what what you're getting uh, let's look at the next one so this one is the creamy chicken dumplings okay so this is the next one let's check it out um, this one here it's not healthy choice so it doesn't have that little heart so it means um, that the sodium content might be a little bit higher and it's actually surprisingly the chamber of secrets it's a lot higher so uh, the calorie account is still um, pretty much the same it's 170 and uh, it's 370 for per, per container right so um, the calorie count is low but the sodium is super high so if you go if you eat half of this it's 40 percent and if you eat the whole thing it's nothing but salt it's 804 percent sodium that's a lot of salt so if you're trying to lose weight and, and, and you think they're doing a healthy thing by eating um, this soup because soup is supposed to be good for you right just know it has a lot of salt and that may affect your uh, your weight loss journey let's, let, let's look at another one all right so I remember this one the world famous chicken noodle soup you know you ate this when you were a kid you used to get sick and you, you needed to feel better so this is it right here so um, again the chamber of secrets um, this small container right here is, is two and a half servings so that's like for two and a half people and um, cholesterol is five percent so you should be fine there right but then if we look at the sodium content it's 40 percent remember what I said about the 40 percent rule uh, this is this is something that you would eat um, kind of makes it feel better so remember what I said um, dilute it with water so um, go ahead and have your, your, your Campbell's soup right uh, but drink a, a glass of water to kind of help dilute the salt or you could just dilute it um, with, you know, within itself so um, your choice alright so that's the chamber of secrets right there um, the secret is that all these canned goods um, all these soups and stuff are high in, in, in sodium content so just keep that in mind if you have problems with your sodium intake um, you know stay away from the canned stuff that's why I try to buy frozen um, um, uh, vegetables as opposed to canned vegetables if you can buy them fresh, then that's that's optimum. But you know, you kind of have to weigh out your options and and kind of get your, your stuff. So that's that's why this weight loss journey is so difficult for everybody because it, it's hard to take note into what you're consuming, right? So uh, again, you have to uh, number one is check your calorie intake, right? Number two is the sugar, and number three is the sodium, right? So um, that's why it's so hard for everybody to to lose weight. And then after you start getting the right foods and stuff like that some people drink their calories right and what I mean by drink their calories um, they, they drink uh, be excessive of beer juices and the number one soda right so that's why people have a hard time losing weight so okay so this is the one I would I would normally get right here that one right there that's the one I would normally get because it's got like fruits and and I like the fruits the bananas and, and all that stuff that's so here we go, we're going to turn it to the back and here's all the great information. So the calories is low, right? The sodium is great at 7%. Now let's look at the sugar, 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 what's the sugar, sugar? Added sugar, here it is, 15%. So it's 15% sugar. Um, I'll be honest with you I don't have problems with sugar um, so I would still rock with this so um, I'm not gonna take this one because I already have one at home uh, but for me I, I would still rock with it but for you maybe not so you decide so the actual idea of this video was, was this guy right here sweet peas I said I'm gonna be talking I'm gonna get some sweet peas right and then I looked at the back and it's 32 percent sodium and that's that that's what like originally like started the idea for this video uh look this right here sweet piece all right guys so that was our visit to the pool on smart you know we did a little a little grocery shopping for uh you know for the week uh, you know hopefully you learned something uh, kind of pay attention to those labels uh, they're tricky uh keep in mind remember the 
2,000 calorie count, right? Uh, the sugar and the sodium. Uh, those are the things, right? Uh, double up on your water intake, exercise, consult with your doctor if you want to start your weight loss journey. Um, and it's going to be difficult, but you got to stay at it. And guess what, guys? Uh, we'll see you on the next episode.